Here's a week two in review for AP Calculus AB 2016. So one of the things we learned this week was the product rule. Here's our first function. There's our second function. Remember that the product rule is F times G prime plus G times F prime. So if I find dy dx equal to our first function, 4x squared minus 3x, multiply by the derivative of our second function, that would be 6x plus derivative of root x, 1 over 2 root x, plus our second function, 3x squared plus root x, multiply by the derivative of our first function, which is 8x minus 3. I would probably leave that alone on a free response. In example 2, we have a quotient rule problem. Remember the quotient rule, we always square the bottom first. We go bottom times the derivative of the top minus the top times the derivative of the bottom. So dy dx equal to bottom squared 3x plus 2 squared. Now it's the bottom function multiplied by the derivative of the top function 4 minus the top function 4x minus 3 times the derivative of the bottom. So I would multiply by 3. We would certainly want to clean up the top if we distribute the 4. We get 12x plus 8. On the back, we have to not only distribute the 3, but we also want to distribute the negative. So we would get a negative 12x plus 9. Our negative 12x cancels out our positive 12x. So dy dx is equal to 8 plus 9, 17 on the top, 3x plus 2 squared on the bottom. We also learned this week product rule combined with quotient rule. So again, here's our first function. That's our second function. dy dx is equal to first times the derivative of the second. The derivative of 3x squared would be 2, or should be 3x to the 2 thirds would be 2x to the negative one third. Our derivative of 1 over x, if I think of negative 1 x to the negative 1, that would be a positive 1 over x squared plus the second 3x to the 2 thirds minus 1 over x multiplied by the derivative of the first. Now notice the derivative of the first would be a quotient rule problem, so we're going to square the bottom we're going to go bottom times the derivative of the top, which is 2, minus the top, 2x minus 1, multiply by the derivative of the bottom, which would be 3. Make sure your fraction bar covers all of that. Sometimes people get a little squirrely with that. Distribute the 2 to get 6x plus 4. Distribute the 3 and the negative, which would give us a negative 6x plus 3. Our 6x's would cancel out. So I have dy dx is equal to 2x minus 1 over 3x plus 2. Now this first part here, I'm going to rewrite that as an alternate answer, 2 over the cube root of x, because AP might do that, 1 over x squared, plus this first one, I'm also going to give an alternate answer this time, of 3 cube root x squared minus 1 over x, and then our last part, if we combine the 4 and 3, we get 7 over 3x plus 2 squared. In our fourth example, one of the things we learned this week was the chain rule. 
Remember, with the chain rule, if we have the derivative of f of g of x, that's going to be the derivative of the outside. Don't change the inside. Multiply by the derivative of the inside. In this case, dy dx is equal to our inside function is 4x squared minus 6x. Our outside function we think of as x to the fifth power. So the derivative of x to the fifth would be 5 something to the fourth. Don't change the inside, so let's leave that part alone. Times the derivative of the inside would be 8x minus 6. 6. Most likely, they would move that up in front and multiply by the 5, so dy dx is equal to 40x minus 30, multiply by 4x squared minus 6x to the fourth power. We also learned chain rule combined with our root function. So dy dx is equal to, now our inside function is x squared minus 6x. Our outside function we think of as root x. And we have that memorized as 1 over 2 root. Don't change the inside. Multiply by the derivative of the inside, which is 2x minus 6. Notice we can factor out a 2, which allows us to cancel the 2's. We get dy dx is equal to x minus 3 over root x squared minus 6x. Lastly, let's do a chain rule uh, that is a chain rule inside of a chain rule, which is chain chain. Uh, our inside function is root x. Our outside function is sine, so we get dy dx equal to the derivative of sine is cosine. Don't change the inside. Multiply by the derivative of the inside, which is 1 over 2 root x. And we're going to run and write that as dy dx is equal to cosine root x all over 2 root x. And that was week two.